So uh, I wanted to try to demonstrate how to set up the pluggable wireless audio adapter uh, because it's a little tricky and always uh, associating wireless devices can be a bit of a problem and in particular this device has some buttons that perform multiple functions so I wanted to walk you through the process. So here's the package it comes in. There's two main units, one that connects to your computer, one that connects to your speakers, um, and, and of course you know what it is it's a one-way transmission uh, from this adapter which plugs into any regular USB port on your computer over to this guy which then plugs into your speakers. The interesting thing about this solution, the good part, it's simple, uh, is there's no drivers involved. So when I plug uh, this adapter in to the laptop, um, that actually shows up as a standard USB uh, audio device to the computer. You can see it says Scenic Wireless Audio, uh, which is the chipset that's in it. Um, but actually what will end up getting matched against that is the standard Windows inbox uh, audio driver. So I don't need any driver disk and there's none included in the package. Our only challenge now is just simply to get this uh, device associated between these two because this guy needs to know who he's talking to and, um, and have that wireless association in place. So this adapter here, when it's plugged in, you can see that, that the speed at which that LED is blinking, that's kind of its normal mode. Now after we press down this button to associate, you're going to see that blinking increase over there. And then the same thing on this side. I'm going to press the power button and actually hold it in for just a little bit until this is blinking, kind of at the same kind of lazy pace, blink, blink, blink. Now, if these had never been associated before, we press these two, hold them in, and about five seconds later, I don't know if you can hear that on the video, there was actually a tone that came out of the speakers there. And that means that they're uh, now associated. Um, so now, once you've heard that beep, this guy knows to talk to this guy. Now let's take a look in here to Windows um, to, and I'm going to plug my mouse back in so I actually have use of my mouse. Let's look at Windows to see uh, what this might look like from an audio um, perspective. So I'm opening up Control Panel, um, Hardware and Sound, and opening Sound. And so here is the speakers associated with the Scenic Wireless Audio. And you can see right now, it's, this is uh, one of the other things that can go wrong here. This is currently not the default for Windows because I previously somebody had explicitly set the, um, the laptop speakers as the, uh, as the default. Windows normal behavior is whenever a new audio, uh, USB audio device arrives, it just chooses whatever's the newest device as the default, assuming that if you just plugged it in, you probably want to use it. But if somebody in the past has set another default, it'll stick with that. So that default had been stuck with. So now um, we're going to you know, click on speakers there, uh, or on the uh, wireless audio. And then I'm going to just uh, open Windows Media Player. And we're going to play something. And yeah, recommended settings. And let's hope that we've got a something default. So now you can hear the sound coming out through these speakers. These speakers are not connected via wires to this laptop at all. They're connected only through the, the wireless control panel here. So I'm going to go here and I'm turn down the volume so that's not talking over me. You notice something else, that when it's playing audio successfully, the LED has gone from that slow, lazy blink to solid now. So on both sides. So you'll only see that LED get solid when audio is actually playing over the USB audio devices. One of the common problems that can happen when you're pairing these, and, and it didn't happen to me, but when you hold down this button here to pair, because we hold down both of these at the same time to pair them, that's also a similar function to mute the audio. This is also the volume rocker. So if I kind of press it over to one side, I could end up pairing the devices, but at the same time turning my volume off, and then I think, oh boy, they didn't pair successfully. So another thing to do when you, once you've uh, paired them is look at the volume plus here and actually bump the volume up a little bit just to make sure that you didn't by accident you know, touch the rocker and, and turn the volume off. So again, pairing is pretty easy, no matter holding down the buttons, pay attention to the LEDs, 
slow lazy blink means that uh, they're just in a normal mode they're not playing back anything and they're not pairing the quick blinks mean that they are trying to find their pair and the solid LED means that they should be playing back successfully so if you see the solid LED and then nothing else is playing well maybe your speakers are off or something and you can in fact see there when it stopped playing these LEDs went back to blinking okay so that's the basic pairing with the uh, pluggable wireless USB audio adapter